Hello, hello. Welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic, The Jedi Knight. I'm Cheetah G, and five seconds ago I was having trouble with my microphone, so hopefully you can hear this. Uh, last time, if you remember, and if you do remember, I salute you because you have a really good memory. <laughs> Um, we were in the ruins of Kaleth and we discovered a flesh raider who could use the force. Uh, but we kicked his ass and now we're supposed to be putting up some surveillance devices around the ruins to see if the bad guys come back. Uh, meanwhile, we're also trying to get readings from these droids. Um, as you can see, I'm almost done with that. I just need one more. So hopefully I'll be able to get some from these guys here. And I'm going to turn the volume down because I can barely hear myself talk. There we go. <laughs> okay, scan the thing. Okay, well, that's ready to turn in, but I'm going to wait on that because, one, there's still stuff to do here, and two, I want to get the bonus. Okay, these uh, symbols actually don't point to a specific mission item. They actually tell you where within a certain area you can find what you're looking for. Um, to me it seems like that should be obvious, but I've heard that some people had some trouble figuring that out, so just in case. Uh, I have not been playing very much recently, and it's actually been a couple of weeks. Um, well, approximately a couple of weeks since the last time I recorded anything, and that is because I have a shit ton of work to do. Um, basically, to make a long story short, um, I have Crohn's disease, and I've been very, very sick for the past, I guess, probably a month now, and... I'm finally doing better enough, at least better enough so that, uh, better enough, <laughs> I'm doing well enough that I can go back to school, um, but as you might expect, I have a crap ton of home, of makeup work. Um, okay, here's where we need to play, that. you'll see these little squares here, and that's just, in each area you just click on one and you'll install the device. There it is. And this is um, one of those things I was talking about where you might have a little bit of difficulty finding uh, the thing you're looking for because it's small, but it's not too hard. They're usually right out here in the open. And if you pay attention to where your map is telling you to look, you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I have a lot of makeup work to do. Um, mostly programming. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, I'm a computer programming major. Uh, so, which by the way is actually a lot of fun, believe it or not. Um, but um, I actually specialize in game design. Uh, anyway, yeah, this semester I'm taking a class on programming with uh, C Sharp, which is a programming language. Uh, Frankly, I'm really not a fan of C-sharp. 
uh, I much prefer as far as programming languages, though I, I actually really prefer SQL over some others, which SQL is a uh, programming language mainly used for like databases and stuff. Uh, but I definitely prefer it. To me, it just seems a lot more um, intuitive, like you don't have to be a genius to figure out how to use it. Uh, eh, but enough of that, you, did, you didn't come. You're not watching this video to hear me talk about programming, are you? No, you're here to see me play this game. Uh, well, I'm right here, I might as well tell you. It's like you see this uh, slab of rock here that's like a fallen pillar. Well, you can actually climb up this and be a little careful here at the top because it's kind of easy to fall off. And I mean, it's not like you're going to get hurt or anything if you fall off, which is not the case with other things later on in the game. But if you manage to climb up here, you'll see something glowing over there in the distance. And as you can see, it's the second Datacron for this planet. So, yeah, I guess <laughs> I, I guess the point I was trying to make about talking about the school stuff is that this is probably uh, the last recording I'm going to be making for at least a couple of weeks now. Uh, it's getting down towards final time, you know, time for finals, and uh, there's only a couple of weeks left in the semester, so, and considering I've been out sick for like a month, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I need to get done that's really more important than playing this stupid game. Stup okay, where is this other... Okay, I still have to plan a device there. And that's just the uh, bonus thing. And I still have to talk to those those two that uh, their masters suspect that they're having kind of a... <laughs> they're doing something they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Uh, where are you? Ah. Um, anyway, I was going to say, hopefully in the future I'll be able to make more frequent updates with this channel, but for now I'm really going to have to focus more on my schooling because, you know, that's important. important. Hello, you see beast. There's a droid right there. How do I... I start talking and I end up getting kind of lost. Ah! Stop attacking me! Where the hell... Uh, these guys, uh, I didn't realize they can see you from a long way off. Most enemies, you know, you have to be within a certain radius of them to, for them to see you and become aggressive. Okay, I'm just going to jump down here. Okay, I think... God damn it. I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> Leave me alone. And I think I just jump up here and yeah, here's here we go. Surveillance device put down. Oh, and that's the last one. Okay, holocall. I'm here, Master. What is it? I'm on my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. I'm already on my way. Find me at the Matriarch's compound. Work us out. out. Okay. Well, hopefully he's gonna tell us what the hell's going on. I see somebody just standing there like that and I have to wonder, it's like, like okay. I always suspect maybe they're, ha they're having a bit of a connection issue. <laughs> which I used to have on my old computer. This computer's kind of a beast, though. <laughs> I mean, I really don't appreciate it enough that 
I actually have a really good computer. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm studying game design, so I really need a gaming computer to be able to run the programs I need. Who did that? Oh, hello. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to these guys because, well, because I'm right here. You found it. Well done, Morrison. Oh, Spanios, I couldn't have done it without you. You're amazing. I don't care what the masters say. We're proving everyone wrong. Come here and give me a kiss. Uh, don't mind me. I didn't see anything. I trust you'll excuse me. Who are you? Uh, nobody. This isn't what you think it is. Oh, really? <laughs> I think you two are romantically involved. Okay, maybe it is what you think it is. <laughs> Spanios. I'm sorry, my love, <sighs> but I'm sick of hiding. The order is wrong. Fear, not emotion, is the adversary of the Jedi way. Ironically, the masters fear emotion, and therefore, they deny us its bounty. The power of it's our love point, is why we so well together. Our teamwork allowed us to find this rare lightsaber crystal. So our passion actually strengthens the order. Well, you know, well, this is, God, there's so much I could say about this. Maybe you're right, but it's not for me to decide. Spanios, please help me convince this upstart not to expose us. I love you, Morrison. And so if you believe we must remain hidden, I honor that. But it may take a sacrifice. You mean the crystal? I agree, my love. Friend, if you tell the Masters we're not romantically involved, we'll give you this powerful crystal for your future lightsaber. <laughs> Would that buy your silence? Yo, guys, I was rooting for you right until you pulled the, you know, trying to buy me off here. Bribery, Spanius? You're only proving the Jedi Code right. Your fall is upon us. No! I cannot let you go! Morrison, stop. Do not succumb to anger. She must be true to her own beliefs. Just go, friend. Do what you will. Now, I do have to kind of respect the fact that he was like, you know, do what you think is right, you know? Those guys, though, I really have to... Ugh, well... <laughs> kind of goes into my own opinions about that that kind of thing but uh, uh I want to say that that that's <laughs> I hate to use the phrase puppy love but really that's what it appears to be to me um there's a few different ways that you can uh do you know continue on with that quest I'll talk about that in a second. There's also this, uh, as you can see, there's a mission. We can look at this thing here, which I totally forgot about, but okay. As you check over the Flesh Raider's corpse, you notice movement from inside its backpack. Oh, let's see what's in it. <coughs> a helpless Flesh Raider baby falls out of the backpack. It isn't aggressive and will obviously die. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Okay, there's a guy at the Jedi Temple who sometimes takes in baby animals and maybe he'll look after it and we have to get some food for it or it'll probably die before we get it back to the temple. Okay, so you run up the hill here and, 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 and there's these thingies and back when I first started playing this game, these guys, I, I started fighting these guys and I got my ass handed to me. <laughs> They're actually not that hard unless you get attacked by like a whole bunch of them at once, which can happen if you're not careful. Um, anyway, so you just have to, you have to kill three of these and uh, get their meat. Which you can see they they all drop automatically, and connection. This 
is not my com computer that's doing this. This is the server connection. Oh, shit. And I'm dead. Oh. First death of the LP. Do and. Uh. Generally, that's how I die when I'm playing this game. I call that death by connection fail. And see when you get resurrected, you come back in stealth, but usually you only have like half, half health. So, so basically, get to a secure location, heal yourself up, use your buff again because it goes away after when you die. And I don't want to have to go on another rant about how people never people forget to use their buffs in this game. Ah. Boom. Okay. Go back and get the baby. That does not look like a backpack to me. Okay. Okay, so it's eating. And it's stronger now, and probably... And now I have to take it to the Jedi Temple. To find somebody who will help it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Um, I do sometimes, you know, every once in a while I do have some connection trouble. I'm not sure if it's the server or if it's, I, I suspect that it's my internet provider because they kind of suck. I know it's not my computer because I'm literally, I can see my frame rate right now. And I usually get better than, uh, I, I usually get a frame rate of upwards of 60, which you don't you actually don't need anything better than 60 um anything higher than that is basically faster than the human eye can even perceive things safe to explore sick rooms there may be traps or i don't know who's talking me, Padawan. the early settlers of tycon oh. knew only the force you are fit for duty to return to your post right side and others the dark oh that's that guy Jedi talking and Sith did not yet exist Dark side is here, Master. I feel it. And that is why we train here. Among friends. Friends. Yeah, basically they were just talking about th these ruins were built back back before the Jedi Order was even founded. But back br pretty much before they even recognized the difference between the light side and the dark side. Uh, there's a lot of really cool backstory that you can figure out just by, you know, kind of exploring around. But, um, Anyway, uh, before I do anything, I'm gonna turn in this in the here. Okay, yeah, I got all your, I got all your information for you. Yeah, those droids were built before, before the Republic was founded, before the Jedi and Sith even existed. That's pretty amazing that something, you know, like a mechanical thing like that could last for 20,000 years. I really doubt that then any, that there's going to be anything of our culture still around 20,000 years from now. That certainly seems interesting. <laughs> Yes, I am jumping up and down with enthusiasm. So now what? So what do you see happening next? Okay, grab a bite stem, even though I'm probably not going to use it. Still have to deal with my mailbox. I'm going to go back to the Greetings. temple first. Uh, whee! 
this. I gotta find somebody. Oh, and if you look, <laughs> if you look in your inventory and look in your mission items, you've got a baby. There's a baby in your inventory. It doesn't look much like a baby, but it's a baby. You can end up carrying some pretty weird stuff in your inventory in this game. <laughs> okay. Now run up here. Find somebody to take care of this baby. Because I am definitely not qualified to be taking care of a baby. <laughs> Like people ask if you know, it's like, oh, you plan on having kids, and I'm like, I can't even take care of myself. I have no business having children. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the guy you're looking for is just standing here by the stairs. Hey, dude, take the kid. A flesh raider baby. See how the force tests my dedication to assisting the helpless of this world. You did the right thing. Leave him with me. I'll convene the council to decide how to handle this. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> Flesh-eating baby. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, there are a few different ways you can actually handle Were this. Were you successful, Padawan? Did you find our pupils in the ruins? Tell us, what did you uncover about the nature of Spanius and Morrison's relationship? Are they romantically involved? Okay, now as you can see, you can choose whether you want to rat them out or whether you want to lie for them. And I'll tell you, my favorite way to handle this is actually um, if, you, if you rat them out, then the quest ends here. However, if you don't, there's a little bit more that you can do. So I'm going to pick... I'm going to say I'm not going to rat them out. I discovered that there is no romance between them, Masters. Some dark side points you for see, it. Master Silvarte, your concerns were for naught. I'm relieved to hear this. Surprised, but most relieved. You have handled this matter with great character. The Order is fortunate to have you in the fold. Oh, now I feel guilty. Believe me, you give me more credit than I deserve. <laughs> Humility is Apparently my character does too. Now that you've befriended them, you might check in on our students. Otherwise, uh, good luck with the rest of your training. Okay, now see, if you rat them out, then the quest ends right here, right there. But um, since I decided not to, you can actually go back and talk to them again. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Right. We heard that you kept our love a secret. Thank you. Don't be naive, my love. Why didn't you tell Master Savarte? What are you after? Mm. It may be hard for you to comprehend, but I have no ulterior motive. You amaze me, my friend, but I think I understand. You're giving us a chance to end our relationship and find our way back to the code ourselves, right? Aha! And now see, once again, you have another light side, dark side option here and this is how I usually do this because I think it's like you know give them a chance to sort of find their way back themselves instead of ratting them out because you know what they you know I think they deserve a chance to figure things out save yourselves by renouncing your romance yes I see now Morrison my love a feeling of wrongness overtakes well, he me. didn't take much convincing he did he <laughs> Spanios no. I will continue to be your fellow and friend, but I dedicate myself to the code now. I'm sure you won't regret this. No! I will stay here with Morris and friend. I believe I can reason with her. Thank you again. And I'll see you again. <laughs> I mean, how long would they have had to know it? I mean, not to say that you really... Uh, yeah, see, I really... I... I am certainly... Not at all. I, I, I'm not somebody who should really be talking about relationships or anything. But, I mean, I... 
Still a better love story than Twilight. <laughs> I, I mean, like I said before, I would say that their relationship was more like, you know, the phase where you're like totally crazy about each other and then later on you're like, well, wait a second. <laughs> what am I talking about? Like I said, I'm not the sort of person who should be giving relationship advice. God damn! Go away! <laughs> uh, the last guy I dated turned out to be schizophrenic. Um, it did not end well. <laughs> uh, shield! How funny would that be if it's... If I died twice in the same episode. Ah! God damn it! I don't remember there being this many droids in this area. Oh, and I got an achievement. Whoopty frickin' do. <laughs> Can I finish a sentence without being totally sniped now? Uh, okay. Has this recording been as much of a mess as I think it is? Let me know. Oh. Next time, Twi'lek Village, and maybe we'll get further in the story. I'll see you then.